this is my vlog for the 1st of March 2023 um, I haven't been up to much really um, I had to go to the hospital right for some tests still got more time stuff to do so so there's that um, I've been finding um, some stuff um, some stuff some bargains should I say uh, to unbox my channel so you'll be seeing those things of the up and coming weeks being uploaded to my channel um, as well as you know that I'm a big Street Fighter 2 fan and a Street Fighter Alpha fan as well so I bought a couple of the different variations of Street Fighter 2 uh, and Street Fighter Alpha 1 and 2 via the Capcom st um, stadium thing they were doing a half price sale so I've got a couple of those games so those would be perfect for actual streaming from um, when I want to do something something short thanks um, other than that really it's kind of not much really I mean I have played that um, that game called Wall, Wall Long um, Fallen Destiny and I know it's based a lot of it you can see that it's um, on the, um, the, dark, the Dark Souls thing and the graphics do, do look really great but um, it's kind of not my thing I'm not a fan of um, the one um, shot kills and then everything resets and then you got to start everything over again so it's not kind of that but I do appreciate the graphics obviously playing the demo of that particular game I know that the game I think comes out in the UK on on, on Friday I think so that would be on the 3rd of March and I know that it's going to be available on Game Pass which, which I don't have at the moment but maybe when I get it again maybe I might give it a go I do know that the game data um, kind of um, well does carry over if you're going to sit there and do that but as of all I'm not a fan of doing boss fights and then um, they've got multiple boss fights and then you're going to do it start from scratch if you die and then your leveling system completely goes off I mean I don't have a problem with um, for example I mean, like, especially with the new Assassin's Creed games where you have to kind of um, grind and <coughs> level up your character and, get, and then along the way get better weapons and <coughs> eventually you get to the level where you can take on the bigger and the harder bosses I don't, I've got the patience to do that but not the one hit <coughs> um, kills and then the bosses start off really <coughs> hard straight away so I, I guess it's simple I can appreciate the actual graphics and stuff but just not that Dark Souls I mean I've always wanted to play a Dark Souls game but I just can't get into that side of things um, so as well I've been getting those kind of games so, um, let's see this month Resident Evil 4 Remake comes out I mean I wish I could get it I don't know if I'll be able to it's along with um, obviously it's the Metroid Remaster which I was raving about and I've been a big Metroid fan um, I've been playing or was it Command and Conquer the PlayStation 1 game which you may have seen on my um, YouTube shorts and on my normal and then the, a longer video of, of, of me doing it again I wish I could stream that but I can't luckily I didn't even know that you could actually play it via the PlayStation to, PlayStation 3 so to say PlayStation 1 games um, work on the um, the PS3 I only I always thought that the PS1 and PS2 games um, only worked on the original on the first um, 60 um, gig gigabyte PlayStation um, 3 is the fat ones but obviously it's the PS2 games but I didn't realize that PlayStation 1 games always work so I was playing it and then getting used to the fact that you have to um, what's the word you you can't use the joysticks because originally um, the joysticks um, never worked on the um, Obviously, they never had joysticks in the original PlayStation 1 console, so just getting used to going and playing it on the D pad. So, um, I've been watching a couple of movies here and there, like the Fast and Furious films, so I'll catch up on those again. Um, so, you, there's a couple of movie reviews that I've done. Obviously, The Mandalorian started today, so I've done that. You've got, i um, been watching that, you've got um, Star Trek Picard season three, the final season. That's on, on Friday midnight over here in the UK you got the flash um, season 9 the final season we're watching that that's coming up to episode 4 I think so and there's been some interesting news about that um, particularly where a lot, a lot of the villains from the previous um, one are actually coming back plus a surprise one 
which you obviously if you look it up I'm sure that you'll kind of find it it won't spoil it or maybe I might even do a video about that so um you know I've been, I've been watching that Jack Reacher just um I finished that a while ago really kind of enjoyed that so I'm trying to um go back and you know like in you know and um catch up on the tv show, shows that I either haven't watched or I was only partial way for it um I managed to get which I haven't unboxed, which I had done video, I haven't uploaded it yet, the season four of Fringe on Blu-ray, the season I've been looking at for ages. Um, I managed to get it cheap, but it was a cheap, but there's a kind of a little downside to it, but there's a video to that, which I will, um, which I will upload because I've actually, I've already done it. So you got that, but yeah, it's just a matter of deciding, um, and then I need to finish up Uncharted 2. And there's a few, and there's a couple demos that have been on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Some of them on bot on was it on, exclusively on each each system or even on both. So um, I've got that to do, and obviously now I've got quite a lot. A few the Street Fighter games which I got cheap, well dirt cheap. Um, I'm gonna um, start doing the streets. I mean, you've seen a couple. You've seen the Street Fighter Hyper Fighting, which my God, right, that is actually hard. Um, obviously I'm more used to, I, I did used to play it in the arcades But I'm more used to playing the Super Nintendo version And obviously the AI night is totally different And then I was saying to somebody on my channel that the reason why obviously that it's so hard Because obviously there are the, the arcade um, emulations And obviously the arcade versions of the Street Fighter games were always hard Because obviously they wanted people to pump in their, their credits So that's why characters can sit there and seem to do two moves at the same time or they um, or they're overpowered when it comes to their throws, especially Street Fighter 2 and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. But um thank god they give you the the the, the option to um to, to to hit like a lot to um to get the credits and you know and you're only limit limited by you know how many credits that you want to put in there. So at least there's that. So and then obviously I'm rusty as well. So um I'm glad I've got those games in the Street Fighter Alpha games, games which I've been playing. Street Fighter Alpha 3 wasn't kind of my favourite, and even when I was about to get it, they put the price back up, so... Um, I didn't get it, but at some point, I'll, you know, if they ever put this, have a sale on again, I will get the game again. But I'm kind of happy with the games I've got, and I've got Ghouls and Ghosts, the arcade version of it. And I've got Strider, the arcade version of that as well. So that's kind of great, so they'll be, they'll, um, be great if I want to do like short little... Um, play playthroughs on on Twitch and then I'll upload them to YouTube and I don't, you know um, I don't I don't necessarily have to do a full scale um, you know playthrough of a game but yeah it's certain things I really want is I want now after you know Command and Conquer and that again and obviously there was Command and Conquer um, Red Alert and Retaliation I really want to start um, maybe building up my um, PlayStation One. Um, collection again now because I haven't got a lot there's some games about I've got the cases and I've actually lost the actual game disc but they're around somewhere so you know I'm gonna look around I know they probably aren't cheap these days because retro um collection collecting these days isn't exactly cheap but um yeah there's certain consoles are what I really do want if money was no option like the Mega Drive which I had but I borrowed off my mate for um, years ago I had it for like nearly six months and then I regret not buying off of them um I would like a Dreamcast um, even the Neo Geo, a Saturn, and then the PS Vita, obviously the one with the um, OLED screen in it. These are the things that on my wish list that I, w um, that I wish I could have. And then I might even show it, do little short videos on my on my retro consoles that I've, I've I've got at the moment. And and yeah, they all still work. Aside from my PlayStation Two, the the, um, the original one, I had a silver one, and then I, I mean it worked for years. And then the I think the laser in it went. And then, because my brother was using it to play DVDs at the time, and then in the end, um, it just packed up the laser. And then in the end, I, f I just ended up buying a the streamlined um, PS2, and luckily that was silver, and it was actually a good price. And I traded some things in, so I didn't have to pay much for it. So my joy pads, which are all silver, still match. So you know, I've got that Vol still there. So I've got a few of my consoles there. Obviously, they've yellowed a bit here and there, but you know, they still work. But yeah, um, I might sit there and do some short videos on on those and set, and then even some of my retro um, game cons, um, games that I still have. Some some still in the box, some tattered, even some in, in some there, the jewel case 
that you have on the um the PS1, but they're a little bit cracked, unfortunately, because you know sometimes when, as youngsters you can be a bit clumsy. So I've got that, and then I've got some still Blu-ray steel books that um, I forgot that I had. Like I've got a steel book of twelve, that movie Twelve Monkeys. So I've got that. I might do something like that. Obviously I can't review, it, even though I know what the twist ending is. But yeah, just expect to see more um, videos, more comic book stuff, um, comic books, graph, comic book graphic novels, um, product um, unboxings, and more video gameplay and film reviews and TV reviews. So I expect to see that on my channel. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Um, feel free to share and like with your friends. That would help. Give the video a thumbs up. And um, you know, because obviously that does help with people finding my YouTube channel. So I'd be most appreciative if you can give it a kick. I don't know, it takes me a couple of seconds. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, because I know some people aren't um, subscribed to my channel. And I'll speak to you all again soon. I'm going to hop and get in because it's freezing cold out here in the UK. Can't wait for the um, summer to come. So wherever you are in the world, um, please stay safe. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.